Yeah, I mean, we, we, the show that you're kind of talking about where it sounds like not that much might be actually happening, what, what we basically base episodes on when we, when we craft episodes are events. And those events can be, yes, they can be people getting hurt. They could also be a mechanical breakdown. They could be an argument. You know, I know that you guys have challenges and things like that that are big events that you can lead to in, in tribal council meetings and things. But ultimately, what we're trying to do is, is have events. And like Jeff was saying, if there, if there are no events, well, that's really tough. You then have to just extend your shoot schedule. Uh, you know, one of the big things that we talk about on Catching On Most of Our Shows is we are not footage gatherers, we're storytellers. So an event that could seem like a very small thing, you can make a very big thing if you produce it the right way. And if the, there are certain shows that focus on like a missing screw for three episodes, you know, <laughs> they're not very successful. Um, you know, we are very lucky on a show like that that's catch where she, we, I'd love to say that like, we just show up is a lot more than that, you know? Like we show up and do a lot, but a lot of really stuff happens. I, I would push them to the point, I'm just being honest here, I would push them and say, hey, you just keep rolling. We'll figure it out, we'll be respectful, but we're not gonna be anything if you don't roll. And, and in the end, we also, we, we have to give the network typically three cuts before we actually deliver the final cut. So I would say in the rough cut, we go gratuitous at times just to, just to judge where they are. Gratuitous is the wrong word. We will we'll push the envelope a little bit in a rough cut just to see what their reaction will be and we will gauge uh, how we will feel. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think there's these different types of reality as well. Um, Mark never refers to reality, it's always unscripted. Um, you know, we have, obviously, Survivor is a social experiment. It's not reality. I mean, literally, we are capturing something that is very, very unique. But when you go to a place that has hostile terrain, where there are crazy waves, or you've got natural disasters, or you've got animals, you've got something is bound to happen. So if you are shooting in this environment, you will capture something. And then, you know, um, then you've got the other duress, which is another layer of the personality of the people. You know, your casting is really important. You know, you know that these people, you don't have to ask them to do anything, they still know what to do, you know, because they're themselves and they can't help them, they get in their, their own way a lot of the time. So, so. Yeah, and one of the, the lessons, getting back to Deadly Sketch Film School or the film school, like one of the big lessons we talk about as producers is just prepare to be lucky. Mm -hmm. And that is essentially, you can translate that in many ways, but you have to, things are going to happen. You have to shoot a lot of beginnings. Well, yeah, it's always got a ticking clock. It always happens. Yeah. Our ticking clock is the immunity item of the tribe. If there's a ticking clock in anything that you've got that you're sure. feeling to, it helps. In fact, we have a lesson that we call "Don't fake the funk." You know, <laughs> we're like, it's if it smells bad, it's probably not going to work for the audience. It's always better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I think the, the things that you can pick up are limited to you know maybe somebody's somebody talking about something or their reaction to something. You can't fake. Uh, we would never fake an event like uh, somebody getting hurt or something falling or breaking or a mechanical breakdown or any of that kind of stuff that's too far for us. I think, you know, there are some pickups, you know, years ago, I mean, this is kind of dating us back, but years ago there was this whole Hollywood Reporter article, you know, that had like gotten like a, like a you know, the terminology in one of our like uh, write-ups, you know, for our post team was, you know, the, you know, made it seem like they were faking stuff. There was this big expose and discovery was really intense. In fact, they came in and, you know, it's terrifying. sat in my office and told me, like, let's talk about what's going on here. It was like, like they were wrong. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> everybody was, like, coming down. And, uh, you know, it's funny because uh, Tom at the time said, yeah, yeah, some of that footage is from different days. He's like, you know what? We're fucking entertainers. Our job is to entertain. This is not, like... Yeah, this isn't a legal document. This is, and, and you know what the shot is. came down to? You know the whole thing was? Yeah, it was a uh, a boat to boat shot from a different day. Yeah, the next year. So yeah, we so we use next year from a different day, and I will tell you, I do it all the time. I don't have a boat by every boat every day. It's just not possible. Did it change the story? No. Did it give a great visual so that I could go exterior and then go in? Yes, it did. And it's better for the entertainment. I mean. You know, you could certainly take one camera, point it at the room, and leave, leave it rolling, and that would, I suppose, be more authentic. But the question is, would it be entertaining? And that's what all of our jobs is, is to entertain people. So. But you are going to miss things. Yeah. You know, and it's okay, how, right? And it, and it is okay, no matter how many cameras. We've missed stuff. Um, and we don't replicate it, but what we do, I guess, we do it in um, 
a, a conversational setting. So, for example, there was a guy that just last season stepped on two stingrays. You know, there was no one that stepped on a sea urchin. We didn't get that footage, but you know what? He came off, he was injured, and a contestant actually had to pee on his foot. That's actually how you, if you have a sea urchin, um, get you. Um, and it still becomes a point of story. There is a rule which I've worked on other shows that say, if, it, if you didn't get on camera, it didn't happen. And then you can't use that storyline. That's happened to me too. You know what? This whole great storyline came, but we missed it. it. You just have to cut it out of your, your story beats. Yeah. Don't put it in your notes. So, so I tell the film, just don't put it in your notes. You don't just have to don't, put it in your notes. Don't tease me. It exists. It's an amazing thing happened that we didn't get. Yeah.